Well, it's almost too late to film this Friday evening, July 20th, 2012. But that's Old Wives Lake off to the south there, also known as Lake Johnson. Used to be, anyway. And we're in the neighborhood of Orland, Saskatchewan. We're on the Missouri Coteau, the third prairie step, just southwest of Moose Chop. The maps tell me this is all proglacial outwash, whatever that is, mixed with stagnant ice moraine to form this outstanding prominence on Moose Jaw's southwestern skyline. Oh, a green bush. Fascinating. These little curlews or whatever they are sure wish we'd just move on. Lots of sloughs up in this country. Lots of potholes for wading birds and ducks. Too rough to grow many crops up here. So this is cattle country. And we are standing in the cut that the CPR built in 1931 connect its shamrock sub westward across the Kato here to archive on the expanse sub south of Moose Jaw towards Assiniboia. And this is Orland, maybe. And there's C.R. Wilson coming down the line. And I believe he spots a birdie. There never was anything at Orland really. No post office, no green elevator, of course, no need for one. There wasn't even a station, just a, a siding and likely some cattle pens to load livestock. The CPR abandoned this little section in December of 1989. Here's some artifacts, washer and some page wire, and a little lump of coal in the shape of a heart. Here we are further north, eastward up the line towards Lillestrand. CPR built its Shamrock sub out eastward from Weimark south of Swift Current in 1923 and got as far as Coderre at the end of the 1924 season, 63 miles. 1928 they pushed farther east another seven, six or seven miles to get to Courval. And it wasn't until 1931 that they tackled the last 33 miles past Orland, Saskatchewan.